A lot of people are really freaked out by neuroanatomy, but if you start with a large scale view, it makes a lot of sense. So let's start with cerebral anatomy, looking at the lateral view. Start by drawing a fortune cookie and then divide it down the middle. That's the central sulcus, or valley. In front of that is the precentral gyrus, or hill. Behind is the postcentral gyrus. The frontal lobe has three divisions, superior, middle, and inferior frontal gyri. Likewise, the temporal lobe has the superior, middle, and inferior temporal gyri. There's only two divisions in the parietal lobe, superior parietal lobule, inferior parietal lobule, and the occipital lobe does not have gyral divisions. Now let's switch to the central view. Slightly trickier, but not much. Start by drawing a whale. Give it a little divot where the central sulcus lives. In the middle is the corpus callosum, the white matter tract between the two hemispheres. Then on top of that is the cingulate gyrus, and then the frontal lobe is only the superior frontal gyrus from the medial face. The paracentral lobule around the central sulcus, then the precuneus, which is in front of the cuneus, which means wedge, which sits on top of the lingual gyrus, which means tongue. Then in the lateral ventricle at the very center, underneath that we have the hippocampal gyrus, the fusiform gyrus, and the inferior temporal gyrus, the little thumb is the uncus. 